Hi folks, today I'm bringing you my last upload before I leave on vacation. I'll be gone for two weeks, and then when I get back I'm going to be super slammed with with real life stuff. And then uh, a week after that, uh, Aorus comes out, so I probably won't be uploading anything as I play through that game. Uh, so basically, long story short, this is going to be my last upload for quite some time. Uh, I will miss you guys very, very deeply. But I plan on coming back. So anyway, this is another free-for-all battle. This time it is an OU battle uh, against the same three guys. On my side, I have D-Noble 10. And then facing off on the other side is Dr. Latin and Dude. Dr. Latin and Dude have now switched sides, but otherwise it's basically the same thing. Um, yeah, so... Uh, what am I trying to say? So... Um, we wanted to, this time it's level 50 not level 100 and this time we're all bringing teams that should be a little bit more even uh not super even though because i, I see that pikachu there and there's there's no excuse for bringing a pikachu I'm, I'm just gonna say that um but he wanted to bring his pikachu again so that's fine the team that i am using is the doubles team that was crafted for me by punamon of smogon and i figured you know doubles free for all same difference totally okay so I lead off with my Landorus, and I see that pincer there, I'm thinking, oh god, that pincer is going to be mega pincer, and it's, it's going to destroy everything. It's going to completely destroy absolutely everything. And so I'm thinking, yeah, but okay, I have Rock Slide, I can take it out, it'll be 4x effective, it'll be fine as long as I can take one hit, and it is at minus one thanks to my Intimidate. So, he goes ahead and Mega Evolves, doesn't wait on the Mega, mega Evolving or anything, and Pikachu goes for Fake Out, and it fakes me out, and I'm thinking, oh! That was very stupid of you, because now that uh, that Mega Pinsir can just completely destroy everyone. Actually, Pikachu's probably the one who's most safe from the- Oh, I was going to say Pikachu was the one who was most safe, but Mega Pinsir goes for the Earthquake and is going to take out that Pikachu in one hit. So, yeah, that Pikachu doomed itself. It would have survived another turn had he let me go for the Rock Slide, but he didn't. So, sucks to be him. So now, um... um uh, my my teammate, quote unquote, uh, D Noble Ten sends out Latias, and I go ahead and U turn it. I'm just getting a little bit of revenge. Also, it was, I just wanted to be out, and I go ahead and send out Magnus. This was a little bit stupid if that uh, Mega Pincer was going to target me, but I was hoping that it wouldn't. Uh, I am very glad that um, was very very glad that um, my U turn did not KO because it meant that his Thunderbolt could KO that Pinsir. So that's the biggest threat I see coming out of here and I am very glad it's dead. Anyway, glad I switched out considering his uh, now at plus one Samurott went for a Razor Shell? I don't know, didn't really do anything to Magnus though. Absolutely nothing. So now out is going to be Victini and I'm thinking that thing is going to target me and it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, he, so D Noble 10 decides he's going to target Victini uh, for seeing it being the biggest threat, goes for Draco Meteor, that Victini survives the hit, so that's a life orb, um, probably modest, uh, modest or timid uh, max investment attack. Anyway, he doesn't, uh, he goes for, what was that, Searing Shot? I'm not actually sure what move that was, but um, does uh, takes out the Latias, does not take me out, and gets the burn on Samurott, so this is, battle is shaping up quite pretty nicely for me, and especially since he went for the Mega Horn, uh, if he weren't burned, that would have KO'd, no question. I go for the Spore, so we basically all figured, except for except for uh, Dude, we all figured that that Victini was the biggest threat, and so um, I put it to sleep, and now it's no longer a threat. Uh, I am down to 55 HP, but I do have Regenerator. Uh, Regenerator is an awesome, awesome ability on Amoongus, it's useful in doubles as well as singles. Uh, my opponent now goes ahead and send out, sends out Gyarados. That's good that it's getting intimidated on that side, and I think here, I think, oh god, th that Gyarados could be a huge problem for me, because I saw in the last battle it's going to Mega Evolve, and a Mega Gyarados, if I'm somehow left with uh, Gardevoir as my last, I can't touch that, I can't touch that Gyarados, because my attacking moves are, de are um, Hyper Voice, which only hits the other side of the, 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 of the, other side of the field, and Psychic which he's immune to. So if I get into a situation where it's Gyarados versus my Gardevoir, I've lost. But luckily, that scenario hopefully should not come to, into being because, um, you know, he'll. in order for that scenario to happen, he'll, my opponent will still have to have Pokemon on... Um, one, of, one of either Dude or Dr. Ladin will still have to have some Pokemon left, and hopefully they'll want to target that Gyarados. 
Uh, here that Gyarados does go ahead and Mega Evolve just as that Zapdos comes out. So now it's a, it's a plus one Mega Gyarados too, so that's really scary. Uh, Mold Breaker, whatever. Uh, I go ahead and go for Earthquake. So that is going to hit the Gyarados and it's going to bring it down to, uh, I think about... Uh, yeah, a little bit more than half health. I do mercifully take out that Samurott. Mercifully, because of that Samurott, that poor Samurott, had so many bad things happened to it. Anyway, he goes ahead and hits Billy D. Williams with an Ice Fang, takes him out. That was the smart move, and that's fine. Magnus, I'm hoping, can take an Ice Fang. I'm not sure if it can. But also, I'm hoping that Zapdos does some stuff to, uh, to Gyarados, because, you know, it's a big threat. Uh, Ice Fang misses. So that was a plus one Ice Fang. I'm not sure that Magnus could have survived. Uh, so then comes the Discharge. Does not do very much to Gyarados, but it does get the Paralyze off on dudes Auroros. Auroros? Yes, Auroros. Um, anyway, Gyarados now goes down to my Giga Drain. I take it out, and so I'm like, oh, thank God that thing's gone. Now I don't have to worry about it. Now I don't have to worry about being in an awful situation where I can't attack it, so it's all good. It's really all good. Magnus recovers a bit of HP with Black Sludge, and, you know, honestly, if I switch it out again, I'll, it'll be back up to full. So, um, another discharge happens. Um, Magnus, I believe, gets, uh, gets a critical hit and paralyzed against me. That's fine. I don't mind it. I'm slow anyway. I go ahead and go for the Giga Drain against that Auroros. Really grateful for the uh, paralysis earlier because that meant that I was faster, and I'm just hoping that um, a, an Ice-type move is not going to come my way. But honestly, I still have Gardevoir, and at this point I didn't know uh, who Dude's last Pokemon was, so I was thinking it's probably okay. Anyway, he does decide that he's going to take out Zapdos as the bigger threat. Uh, honestly, I think my Spory... Well, I, he, he can't be put to sleep, so yeah, honestly, that one probably was the bigger threat. Although, Giga Drain is going to take him out next turn, So, but he figures he can take me out next turn because I'm paralyzed. So, anyway, Victini is Dr. Latin's last, and Auroros gets paralyzed first turn, um... Then Victini wakes up, goes, I go, uh, misses his Inferno, but you're running an Inferno, what the hell are you doing? I take out Auroros, uh, and I'm back up to full HP after Black Sludge recovery, so this is really kind of awesome for me. Um, I've still got two Pokemon left, and both of my opponents only have one, and uh, D Noble 10 was out of the match quite some time ago. So his last is Agron. I'm thinking, oh no, that's not good because Agron versus Gardevoir. No, I can't. I can't touch it. I just can't touch it. So he goes ahead and Mega Evolves, and I'm thinking this Agron's going to win the game. Uh, he just needs to um, take out. He just needs to take out Victini. Um, so anyway, Victini goes for the Searing Shot. Uh, I protected myself, and so so Searing Shot hits everyone on the field, and it's going to hit Agron. Um, let's see. Wait, I don't actually... No, Searing Shot only hit me. Okay, I don't know what Searing Shot does. Screw it. Um, anyway, I... Wait, someone protected himself. Maybe it was him who protected himself. I don't know. Flame Burst here is going to hit him. Doesn't burn him, though. Uh, and I'm like, I gotta take out that Agron. I'm gonna... Go, I'm actually gonna try to go for the Spore, put it to sleep. But, you know, even... Even if I put it to sleep... So I get flinched here, and I'm not complaining about the, flat, the hacks. I'm really not, because... So much in this battle has gone my way. Here comes an Inferno, and he hits Agron, and I'm thinking, oh, that's awesome. And he gets the burn, because that's what Inferno does. Um, and I'm thinking, oh, thank God, I'm going to actually have a shot of this match with Gardevoir, because otherwise it just would have been bad. So here I go for the Spore, and I, I was trying to put that Agron to sleep, but he got burned first. So, honestly, it wasn't the worst thing that you got burned. I mean, yeah, it kind of was, but... Um, so here comes another Inferno, it does not miss, takes out Agron, and that was a big threat gone, and, and uh, Dude was really pissed at this point, he was like, you just cost yourself the match, actually, if I, maybe I'm remembering this incorrectly, but I, I remember him being like, you just cost yourself the match because now it's, you know, uh, I've got some other Pokemon and I'm going to be able, it, it's like, I actually told them that it was Gardevoir, and I was like, I told you it was Gardevoir. Uh, and now you've just ruined your own chances of winning. But whatever. Um, I what did I? Why did I go for the rage powder here instead of taking him out? Because I, because I just didn't want another. I, I just wanted him to take me out. And notice he didn't even take me out with the inferno. Isn't that kind of ludicrous? Uh, but I'm just begging for him to take me out because otherwise this is just too lopsided of a match. It's just too incredibly stupid. And so here comes the inferno that is going to take me out, and that's fine. That's fine, Magnus is going to go down, and I'm going to go out into Gardevoir, and I'm going to win the match with Gardevoir. I wanted Gardevoir to be on the field at least for, like, a minute. So I go out into Gardevoir. 
I'm not sure who's going to outspeed whom. I'm actually, it would actually be funny if he could one-shot me with that Inferno. Um, but if it didn't take out, if it didn't take out Magnus, it was, it's not going to take out Gardevoir. There's no way. So I go ahead and Mega Evolve. So I'm going to have a stat boost anyway. Um, and he's, he goes for the Incinerate. Doesn't want to mess around with Inferno, I guess. But that does jack. And that was with a critical hit. So I go for the Hyper Voice. Uh, it's resisted, but it doesn't matter at that range of health. And so I take out the, Vic the Victini, and that is the game. And so I have won both free-for-all matches um, by decently wide margins. And so that's just kind of, well, I mean, here I was only by one, but I let him have that kill. So um, those were, it was just kind of a ludicrous series of matches, and it was a really nice uh, introduction to free-for-all, and it was a really nice way to go out on this channel. I hope you folks agree with that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, you can challenge me, but it won't get back to you for a while.